So we're talking about a driver problem, a common problem and a simple fix and how your head can influence swing path. So we know that driver is the hardest club in the bag to hit. We're all trying to get that more consistent, more accurate, more distance, more power. Um, and understanding how to deliver the club head to the ball gives you the optimum chance of hitting the best, getting or at least getting the best results. And some people can really, really struggle with this. And there are differences that we get between when we hit our irons and when we hit our woods. Okay, so today I want to talk about your head position, now specifically your head position relative to the ball when you're trying to make impact. Okay, so a bad swing, and this is where I see 90% of golfers getting this wrong when they're struggling with their driver, is their head position at the point of impact. So as they swing back, load it nicely, deliver the club, head moves forward, and then that's gonna get you steep and hitting down on the ball. Now, from the sort of down the line angle, what it's gonna look like is to stand there, swing, get to the top of the back swing, as that head moves forward that way, and this is the extreme version, okay, so this is gonna be probably worse than a lot of golfers, but get to the top, head moves forward, that's gonna get the club tracking down and to in relative to the ball. Okay, so that's gonna give you a steeper angle of attack, club face or club head coming from the outside and in, and then that's gonna make you slow down a lot. So as I come in there, hit down on it, and then steep angle attack. And that's not a combination that's gonna work particularly well with your driver. What you need to feel is that as you're delivering the club to the ball, that actually your head is working back. Okay, so, and the difference is that as you come in, if I deliver the club that way, so as I come in, I feel like my head's working back. The club's gonna come in a lot, lot shallower and from the inside. And then if an angle of attack is shallower to the ball, and if the path is more to the inside, I would determine that as the more desirable option than out to in and steep, into out or into square to in, shallow, it's gonna give you a much more consistent result. It's gonna reduce spin, it's gonna give you better launch conditions and that's gonna get the ball going further. So here, if I use this alignment rod to sort of emphasize my point, so if I can stand there and swing and say, right, so what you're looking to do is as you swing, you're gonna to get to the top of your backswing, this position, your head's gonna be behind that alignment rod. So as you're looking at me from that direction, your head gets behind that alignment rod. As you come down, if I get head forward there or level two, that's a problem. If I think, okay, so use that stick as a, as a name, I think, right, set yourself up. And then as I come in, I wanna stay behind that. And you might find that, a good way to practice, to put an object there and just think, okay, so when I'm delivering the club, you know, I've got my swing plate and the alignment rod, you can stand there and think, right, so as I swing, I want to back up and get into that position. That's going to give you a much more efficient way of delivering the club to the ball, and then that's going to get you hitting the ball further. And it should look something like this. So what I'm thinking about on this swing is just where my head is at relative to the ball at the point of impact. So stand there, swing back up, try and get nice and shallow and to the inside. There you go, nice straight shot. That's not gonna get you into any trouble on the golf course. But if you wanna improve your iron strikes with this simple, very, very simple five second drill, make sure that you check out that video.